Hey guys, I'm Ray. And I'm Jason. And there's Carmen creeping in the back as usual. And in this video, we are going to be doing something, I guess, kind of not what we've ever done before. Um, we're home, just in case you didn't know that. We were in Hawaii last week, so go check out that vlog if you wanna see a bunch of fun and action. This vlog might not be like that because we planned when we're back in California to show you guys all of the exciting things there is to do in LA. We're gonna hike the Hollywood sign. We're gonna take you down to Santa Monica Beach. We're gonna show you Venice. However, it has been pouring this week and you can't really do that kind of stuff in the rain, which is so frustrating because it rarely rains in California, but of course we're home during like the wettest time, which on the plus side makes the hills all green and very beautiful. Anyway, that was a long winded way to say we are going to be showing you our hometown and I guess taking you along for some maintenance stuff because right now, uh, oh, can't see too white. Oh, look, there's Yeti, our truck. So we are getting some maintenance work done because she's long overdue for a checkup. We're gonna be showing you our hometown and kind of telling you how we met and how like we came to be and how Getaway Couple came to be. So stick around for that exciting adventure. it is raining it has stopped for a couple minutes thank goodness we do need to go run some errands but in between that we are going to be showing you um i guess our hometown this isn't where we lived when we left to start our being we lived over the hill in a town called woodland hills and we are currently in simi valley california i feel there is nothing special about simi valley we do have the ronald reagan library it is a safe place to raise your family. There are way too many cops here <laughs> and a lot of retired LAPD folks move over here. So it is, it's a safe area to say the least. I don't think we got in too much trouble. There's nothing to get in trouble in Right. Here. <laughs> so just in case you didn't know, Jason and I met in high school. However, we are not high school sweethearts because we did go our separate ways for college, but we did reconnect after college. So we're soulmates, but not high school sweethearts. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> we're soulmates. Okay. I guess we'll just keep giving you little tidbits of how we met. So since we're in Simi Valley and we weren't planning to show you this place at all, we are going to go somewhere that means something to us will probably mean nothing to you, but it, it has history for us. So let's go. I always hated that sign. Yeah, I do too. That's why I'm putting it in. <laughs> Gross. So we're at our first apartment that we had together in the villas of Wood Ranch because we were fancy AF. <laughs> we lived in, in the villas. Wood Ranch. Yeah, I thought Wood it Ranch. was the village. No. The that's, villas? The village is where we lived before we hit the road. That the was village? across the street. Oh, that was the yeah, mall across that was the, the street. Mall. You guys, how quickly we forget our past. <laughs> yeah, so these are the villas. They did slap a fresh coat of paint because it was this nice uh, brown yellow color, but now it's white and blue, but. It doesn't look cute though. No, like no. that's a cute color scheme, but it doesn't look good. They also added these awnings over your parking, which is nice. Anyway, all yeah. this doesn't matter. So we lived here in 2011. We moved in January 2011, and I think we were here for three years or two years. 
I think two and a half, actually. Yeah. How weird is that? Who also goes back and looks at where they used to live and sees what changes? Because I really like doing that stuff. It's really fun to yeah. see the differences here or to see what hasn't changed. Like your life has moved on. You've done these crazy things. Your life has changed so much. But like where you left hasn't changed at all. I feel like Simi Valley is really good at doing that, <laughs> not changing. <laughs> yeah, we run into like maybe a restaurant's different, but 99% of the time, nothing's changed. And it's, I don't know, it kind of makes us feel better about traveling. Yeah. Because we can always just kind of slide right back into regular life. Yeah, we could if we wanted to. Not in Simi Valley, though. No offense. <laughs> We're not going to get out or anything because that would be creepy, but we are sitting right in front of the apartment that we used to live in, and it's kind of fun thinking about our lives at that time. We didn't even have Garden Dog. Yeah, and so we'll show you the big picture window that leads into our old master bedroom. There's a tree in front of it, so it's not going to be a good view. And their blinds are closed. I don't want to film someone's bedroom. <laughs> but anyway, this is what it looks like. <laughs> Yep, there you go, in all its glory. All right, on to the next place. as we move on to our next destination. In Wood Ranch, where we just were, where our old apartment complex was, is the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library. If you do ever find yourself in the Simi Valley area, we would recommend checking that out because it is pretty cool. They have a chunk of the Berlin Wall up there and like not just like a chunk, like Hold a- Hold on, this is our rival high school. Oh. Boo! Boo, Royal! <laughs> <laughs> oh, losers. <laughs> anyway, there there's are. A, there's only two high schools. There's three high well, schools, but no, one doesn't count because it's a magnet it's school. Performing arts. Yeah, it's a magnet school, <laughs> and they didn't have a football team, and so. They didn't have any sports teams. They didn't have team. sports teams, yeah. But I do. we do know people that went there because if they wanted to play sports, they would have to drive to either Royal High School or Simi High, where we went to play on our sports teams. So I do know a couple girls who played soccer with me. But anyway, back to the Ronald Reagan Library. Uh, they have a piece of the Berlin Wall up there, which I found really cool. It's like five feet wide and it's the full length of the wall, the full height. So it's really cool to see that. And then they also have Air Force One up there. This is like the full on Air Force One inside. You can walk mm -hmm. through it. It's the one that Reagan flew in. Mm -hmm. um, and it's it's awesome. Yeah, it's really cool to see inside. And then of course the the whole museum itself is pretty cool as well. So anyway, just wanted to throw that out there uh, about visiting at the Reagan Library. Right, guys we are at our next destination which is actually going even further back in time which is where my mom and I lived in high school and I'm not gonna lie to you I'm like slightly sad but I'm just gonna show you the house real quick because I don't want to show someone's home for too long because it's not our home anymore but this is it <laughs> the yellow one so that is the house that I lived in with my mom going to high school. And the reason I said I was a little sad is because it needs a little love and I don't think it's been getting that. So it's very weird to see like this house that I really loved and had a good uh, childhood in and young adulthood in not being loved. So that's why I'm a little sad, but it is fun to see it. And I think it's pretty funny that it has an RV in the driveway. That's very um, ironic. I don't know, but telling or I don't know, just the connection that we RV now and there's an RV in the old driveway. Anyway, weird connection, but I think it's funny. You remember this house well too? I do. Picking me up for 
dates and hanging out and yeah you didn't have a car so that was your ride <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you loved it hmm. you loved driving me around you still do <laughs> that's true that's true all right next destination we don't know where it is actually but we'll figure it out <laughs> Big changes are happening in Simi. Aldi. <laughs> Aldi. I've never had one of those in California before. No. I've only seen it, at, well, it was New York, I think, where we saw most of the, the Aldis. Yeah, I think so. It's crazy. Oh, Don Cuco's. Oh yeah, Don Cuco. It's a great <laughs> Mexican restaurant. <laughs> we love Don Cuco. Yeah. <laughs> We went to high school. Go Pioneers. Go Pioneers. <laughs> Our colors were maroon and gold. Oh, they were great. They were great. <laughs> but yeah, that is where we met. And actually, right in that, you probably can't even see, that quad right there was our German class, which is where we officially met. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Did you know we took German? We were actually foreign exchange students to yeah. Germany. Yeah, we went to Germany the year, the summer before our senior year of high school. And that's where we really became friends and got to know each other more because we actually didn't run in the same circles. I was... A nerd. <laughs> I was... A nerd. Athletic. Mm, okay, sure. You were... I was uh, friends loser. with everyone. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I didn't have a lot of friends. I had my soccer girls. But you grew up in Simi Valley. I only moved here freshman year. That's my excuse. So... Anyway, that's where we met, was German class, and that's when we started hanging out, was our foreign exchange trip, and then senior year is like when we really got to know each other. Yeah. Uh, the school, if you couldn't really tell from the quick, brief uh, drive-by, we didn't want to be those people. School's in session, so we didn't really want to be filming a bunch of kids. Uh, I think that's kind of weird. Yeah. From the car as we drive by. Yeah, creepy. Uh, but... Out here in Simi, our schools are open quads because it's sunny 300 something days of the year. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, you have it set up in like four major sections and it's just all open air in between them and they have these blocks of school buildings. So, yeah, so when it's rainy, <laughs> like today, those kids are running from quad to quad. <laughs> yeah, and when it's not, they're still running because there's a lot of seagulls that come and try to pick up trash from the kids that are eating. So, and poop. Yeah, so you're all always, over you. always worried about getting pooped on at school <laughs> because there was hundreds of seagulls well, trying I to steal your lunch. Forgot about this. Yeah, so Jerks. the open quad is a great concept idea, <laughs> yeah. but you know, you're just kind of always a little worried about being outside. Yeah. So. Did you ever get pooped on? Uh, I might have. Nothing crazy though. Nothing where it was yeah. like it a day out. ending. Yeah, maybe yeah. like on my arm or something like that. You can go wash it off. I don't think I got pooped on, but I yeah. feel like it had to have happened in the four years. Yeah. Anyway, so. exciting times here in Simi Valley. All right, moving on to our next destination. All right, so we started off on the east end of Simi, which is kind of the fancier, upscale, bougie area that Ray and I lived in. Um, and then we made our way west, and that's where Ray grew up, kind of middle of Simi. And now we're all the way west, which is kind of the boonies out here of Simi Valley. It's only seven miles wide, but it very, very... <laughs> like differs from one side of the valley to the other. Yes. So, I don't think this has anything to do with income level though. I want to clarify that. This is just the end that the town started established it. Yeah. was established on. Yeah. Exactly. So this used to be uh all orange groves and they've slowly been building newer and new houses. So we're actually on this road called Smith Road, which this family right here is the Smith family that actually we went to 
uh, I went to elementary school, middle school, and high school with some of their kids. So I, I think played soccer with uh, yeah, her. and you played Ray yeah. played soccer with with Julie Smith. So that's a little interesting uh, thing. But it leads to uh, this park called Corganville, which is actually an old movie ranch. And if you look to the right now, they have a new <laughs> movie ranch that they've built here. Oh, yeah, back lot. Those are fake ambulances. Yeah, and there's the, the back of. <laughs> Oh, it's closed. Oh, they're shooting. Oh, they're shooting. Doesn't look like it. Well, Corganville is an old Wild West town that they filmed like Bonanza and like the Lone Ranger where like the horse would go and like jump off into the water. So that was all filmed here and it was really cool to see. Most of it burned down, but they did have the foundations of a couple of the original buildings. But I'm glad that they did build this like studio back lot over here and they started filming over here again because that's kind of a cool heritage. These hills burn down a lot. See me surrounded on three sides with hills. And so it's kind of this weird little protected valley thing, but every single hill, even though they're beautiful and green right now because California's had rain, the second it stops raining, they turn brown and yellow and dry up and they are just ready to catch on fire. And yeah. they do every two or so years. <clears throat> uh, they were spared from this last one that, that burned down almost all of Malibu, although that did start on the other side of the hill, which we're heading to now, mm -hmm. um, since that's where I grew up. Yeah, in fire country. Yes, yeah, in the <laughs> middle of fire country. childhood home yeah I live up a dirt road in Los Angeles <laughs> very strange right so um, this is Fox Canyon so uh, we have a view that's amazing and I didn't really appreciate it as much as a kid but I definitely appreciate it now this is the whole San Fernando Valley where like like Valley Girls and like all that yeah. stuff comes from. So we can see from Calabasas all the way over to Burbank. So everywhere on this side of the Santa Monica Mountains, right on the other side of them is Malibu in the ocean. So I know. it's too bad we can't really show it to you. Yeah. Because it's very cloudy today. But there is a mountain range right here, and on the other side of that is Malibu. And we got married in the Malibu Mountains, like over there definitely can't see anything and you used to be able to see where I worked and where we lived for four years before we started RVing but unfortunately we can't share any of that with you right now we did change because we are going out to dinner with the neighbors that Jason grew up with because they want to catch up with us on our travels let's go get some delicious Los Angeles Mexican food, <laughs> which LA has the best Mexican food. Uh, yeah, don't even argue with We've us. We've tried it. We will physically fight you. We have tried Mexican food all over the United States and California has the best. Don't argue. Hands down.
We are now back in the RV. We had, okay, bye, rude. <laughs> we had a great dinner with the neighbors around Jason's house, catching up with everyone. It was definitely a good time. I don't think we mentioned this anywhere else, but we have been staying in Thousand Trails Soledad Canyon RV park while we have our time here in LA. It is kind of a drive, but it's free. So what are you gonna do? Now one of our favorite campgrounds. They have really bad service here and they have an upper area and a lower area and they didn't recommend we went up to the upper area because you have to, well they have a bridge that got completely washed out but they have an emergency exit which is just a road. So the road is how you would get in and out when there's a ton of rain the water just goes right over the road and it kind of just turns into a river yeah on purpose like the river yeah. is mostly dry but when it rains and becomes an actual river like it just yes. it goes over the road yes so S silly yeah silly so when we checked in they said if we would recommend staying in the lower area but we drove around the lower area and frankly we didn't like it we weren't getting mm. a good vibe from it it was we, right on the train tracks yeah we didn't have any cell service which wasn't going to work for us so we ended up unhitching leaving the trailer down there because we wanted to assess like how bad this emergency road was and we drove out the, out of the park we drove through the emergency road and the upper area in our opinion was way nicer and you could tell that's where a lot of people were coming in and out so the lower area was more so for the long termers it felt like and the upper area was more for the people who were um you know moving full time we ended up getting a really nice spot on the like what backing up into like a little valley and it had a great overlook so we were pretty happy with that so anyway that is your mini version of the soledad canyon thousand trails review yeah so that was our time in simi valley i hope that you guys kind of had fun getting to know our story of who we are and how we came to be. I kind of forget where we ended telling you, but I, we were like pointing out into the valley area that we used to live and that's where we lived for four years. We rented a house out there. That's where we got married and that's where we worked and that's where we decided to start full-timing. So it was kind of fun going down memory lane. I actually feel a little more affectionate towards Simi Valley because normally I think back with a lot of distaste. <laughs> Did you have fun? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Down I, memory I'm, lane? Yeah, I <laughs> I have more fond feelings for Woodland Hills than, than Simi Valley, but... Yeah. Yeah, Simi will always have its place. I went to all three schools there. Yeah. So... Exactly. Yeah. So, yes. So then if you're wondering, we also did get uh, Yeti, our truck, back, and she got a lot of work done. Which includes? <laughs> so let's start with the front. Okay, we got new shocks on the front. Um, we got a transmission flush. We got new transmission fluid. We got new front differential fluid. We got new transfer case fluid. We And it was leaking as it, or, or the front differential, I forget right now. I think it now. was the front differential. That yeah, it was leaking to the, the, the shaft, so we got that seal replaced. Mm -hmm. That was good. Okay, let's keep moving back. <laughs> um, we got our rear rotors replaced and our rear brake pads replaced mm -hmm. and we checked the front and they're fine. They're mm -hmm. squeaking so we'll probably just replace the pads ourselves but the rotors are fine. I still need to do the rear differential fluid because I told them not to do that because I can do it myself. Right. Um, we got rear shocks as well. Mm -hmm. And then I feel like we got something else done. Oh, they replaced a couple seals that they found, like a a bearing and a seal. Let me look it up right now. Cause I have no idea. They just told drive shaft bearing, the center drive shaft bearing and a differential pinion seal. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's it. And it was a lot of work. I think we still have a couple things I would like to get done that are major maintenance mm -hmm. uh, that I don't know if they've ever been done since we got the truck. So we got a couple more items to go, but we got a lot of work done. And this okay. place warranties their work, 
which is mm -hmm. good. But mm -hmm. I don't think we'll have any issues. Yeah. We used them before we left. Yeah, this was the mechanic we took our cars to before we left because yep. we loved him. It's very important to find someone that you trust with the with your truck that is towing your entire life. So they are very understanding of that, super professional. Um, yeah, we love this place. Uh, what It's called Bills, right? That's all Bills I know it as. What's automotive. It? Okay. <laughs> it's like, but yeah, so anyway, that is what is going on with the truck going on with how we became getaway couple and um we had a great time uh coming home and seeing our friends and family we didn't get to see everyone we wanted to see but we have decided that we want to come back for the holidays and spend a little bit more time here so it was just really nice being back and being back in an area that's familiar and knowing where we're going and not having to turn on gps every single time and um you know having our favorite restaurants and places to see so coming home really like filled me up emotionally, if that makes sense. I'm super excited for this year and our adventures. So we'll be checking off more states, more rallies. So it's definitely gonna be a good year. I'm super excited about it. Oh yeah. All right, well, that's all we have for you in this video. If you have any questions, as always, leave them down below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to join our getaway gang. We'll see you next time. Bye, Bye guys. guys. I went to this gym a lot. I saw that. Did you? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall! <laughs> You're not doing it for the gram. What are you doing it for? <laughs> I don't even know how we talked. Why are we talking like that? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> And if you are in the Simi Valley area, we do recommend we do recommend checking that out. Because don't laugh at me. <laughs> we do erection checking it out. <laughs> I did not say that. Is that the entryway we had? No, it's oh. new. All of this is new. Look, they got this fancy. Oh plant. yeah, look at all these plants. Oh, so fancy. No, this big sign they got here. Oh, big sign. What? So you can fill me and I'll talk. Oh, okay, you'll talk this time. All right. <laughs> okay. 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 Okay, guys. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, guys. I'm Jason. <laughs> What's it called? Not differential, it's the transfer case. <laughs>